what we have here is a setup where we have a semi-circular arrangement of eight tablets and seven iPhones. Uh, and in this case, the iPhones are recording the facial appearance as these tablets illuminate with our specially designed lighting uh, conditions. And with that, we get all of the 3D shape and appearance that we then can use to create a realistic rendering of a human face. Our uh, goals are, are to be able to go beyond just the face to, to the whole human body and create a full realistic avatar. And once that happens, then maybe you're looking at the entire fashion industry or the clothing um, that you might want to try out uh, in, in a virtual space. I believe it's a conscious decision by most companies to create non-realistic avatars, A, because they are easier to create, and B, there is something called the uncanny value of human perception. The closer you get to reality, if you don't nail it, human perception uh, rejects that avatar. So it's almost better for the consumer, for traditional avatars to be non-realistic and cartoonish-like, because then they don't mind it if it doesn't look like them. And hence, for us, one of the big goals has been to really cross that uncanny valley to total realism, where basically now you accept it because it, it, it really represents you. And we believe in the metaverse there will be many gaming and non-serious applications where you can get away with the non-realistic avatar. But the tomorrow's metaverse will really also be about serious work. You entering a meeting which is now not just in 2D but in 3D, where it's not just virtual reality but regular like you could be giving a job interview or, or attending remote conferences where you really need to project your real self and not, not your cartoon self and this is where we believe uh, completely realistic avatars uh, have, are going to be the game changer. Yeah.